All right, Hades the Bigger here. Still, I'm getting even more sick because uh, the wind is blowing. I, I guess uh, weakened immune system right now or something. I don't know. But anyway, uh, so I'm installing this uh, this retractor. If you remember my from my junkyard Gallant special, I uh, I picked up a, a retractor from a Gallant in the junkyard a while back. It's the same color as this one too. I can tell that this one is a is a pick and pull one too. But anyway, um, so uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just gonna kind of go through what I've done so far. I wasn't really gonna do a video, but uh, this one though. Um, it's taking the interior pieces off. So uh, I have uh, with me to do this. I need a I needed a screwdriver. <laughs> I'm not really sure how to get this piece off, but uh, I'm pretty sure if you pry it off enough, it'll come out. But I, I just got it just enough so I can pry that part off. I, I didn't really need to take this out, so I just take the screws off here, and then the, and then the, I lift it up on the, the these tools here. This is my interior trim piece tools that I bought from Harbor Freight for six bucks. I think they're great, except uh, they're not very thin, so it's hard to get in those really tight spots, but they won't mar up your uh, stuff. And then well, once, once you get these screws out here, the same with the back, um, you just stick one of these in here, I use this one here, and then get it between here and then just pry up. And then, like, it'll reduce your chances of breaking these. I've, I've broken them in the junkyard, so they're pretty flimsy. Um, and uh, yeah, so and then uh, this one just kind of this one is just kind of held in by like this little channel here. <laughs> See, kind of it kind of held in by the plastic. It just it just uh, pinches on this this right here, the sheet metal. But it won't come out. It won't come out unless you take the belt out, because the belt goes through it. Unless maybe you cut this or something, but uh. I won't do that. But uh, yeah, this is the reason I'm I'm replacing my belt because of this. It's not good. It's just getting worse. But uh, also uh, another uh, and uh, it's like it's at the position where like it's like that all the time. It's always touching that, and it's just going to get worse and worse. Because apparently whoever owned my car before like was my size or something. <laughs> so and, and also uh, um, Galant VR4s don't come with. Uh, with uh, manual belts, they don't come with auto belts. This has been converted from another uh, Golan, like a Golan ES or something. No more base model Golans. I found an '89 Golan in the junkyard, and uh, it had this stuff on it. All right, so, so yeah, so I, I got this off. So now I just have to take the retractor off. No big deal. Um, so there's a, I think there's a bolt lining here, and. Uh, I know there was like a screw holding something. Oh yeah, there's it's missing the screw. It's supposed to be a screw holding it. Or this retractor is safe. <laughs> That's a good question. So yeah. Anyway, I just have to get in there and do the thing. So you can see there's a power little power wire there. Hiding behind the retractor. I think that's for the auto belts. Um, but yeah, they have done a, a full conversion on this car. Whoever had this car before, they went to great lengths and detail to uh, to modify it you now um, yeah right, I'll let you know how it turns out uh, loosen the bolt for the seat belt bolt just gotta make sure all this stuff stays oh great I lost the spacer already good job dum dum head all right it's a uh, it's under the car somewhere just make sure you don't lose that so that's three. There's like a, a there's like a spacer and the washer. So make sure you remember that. But well, I'm pretty sure I have them on that other one. It's also missing a screw. I remember there's a screw here. See this right here? Oh, there's no. I don't think there's a place to mount the screw. I could drill a hole because it's one of those sheet metal screws. Yeah. Why didn't they just drill a hole? I think that's what I'm going to wind up doing. I'm going to drill a hole in the car. Which is okay, um, because uh, I like uh, I like having a safe car to drive, <laughs> right? I like to know my seatbelts will save me in an accident. 
Alright, so what else holds it? What else is holding this thing in? There's a thingamajigger. Oh, down here. So I gotta unbolt this too. Somehow. So like, right down there. It's bolted down to the, the car. Okay, so like hiding... Hiding under here are those two bolts you see there. See those two bolts. One there and one down yonder. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt those. Kinda hard to get to. This one is to the retractor and the other one is to the the other part of the belt, the, the end part of the belt. And they're very hard to get to. What the hell, dude? I think you gotta do the bottom one first. Ah, and then it doesn't help to have this fucking power cord in the way. So annoying. This is, I mean, it's the cheater bar. Ooh. It's pretty tight. Oh, it's actually, it's actually not tight. Oh, all right, there we go. Hope there's nothing else behind it. So there's the bolt. And the whole thing should just come out now. Okay, cool. There it is. So there's that part. So I don't remember how this all goes in there. It's pretty simple. Then we do this top one now. That that's out of the way. Oh boy, it's pretty tight. getting out of the wrench. Just gonna double up on wrenches here before I get a hernia or something. Should be able to be do it quite easily now. I hope. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. Leverage. It's a beautiful thing. Ouch. There's the old retractor, so as you can see, it came from pick and pull because that's how they marked their thingies, their retractors or stuff assemblies. So just kind of take that out and make sure you put it in the same way. And we have the other retractor here. So, oh, let me get the other guy here. There we go. Sure, I don't lose anything. So one of the things that are thingies. Uh, so this here, this part is supposed to be held in by a screw because that's how it was at the junkyard. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to drill a hole. So isn't that the hole right there? That might be the hole right there. I'm not sure. Um, if it doesn't have the hole, I will drill it and I will put the screw in myself. It's, I guess it's just to better stabilize it. It must not be that, you know, it's just to hold this bracket in tighter. That may very well be why the last belt got frayed, you know. So, uh, okay, so we'll just, uh, I'll feed the new belt through here and uh, put it back on. Too easy. So here's a kind of a cool thing. You can see how the inertial reel works. I, if you hold it straight up and down, it goes in and out. It's hard to do with one hand. <laughs> but I was playing with it earlier. See, it's nice and free. But then when you drop it down at an angle of any sort, it locks. Ugh. See, pretty cool. So 
So at least it's a good thing I know it works, you know. I'm pretty sure these seat belt retractor assemblies are not cheap. Um, all right, so I'm kind of trying to figure out how this all goes in here. Just putting the new retractor in, bolting, bolting it on. All right, so to get that uh, that one part here bolted to the or screwed onto the chassis I'm having to have to drill a hole because this one doesn't have that hole so it's like right here that's where the hole is going to be so that's where it's going to go so I got my punch here my drill there and uh, the screw so the one in the junkyard had a, had one there and I'm assuming if I drill a hole in there it's not gonna it's not gonna really do much so I might as well just make it complete right Huh, okay. I guess uh, upon further consideration, I, I may not, uh, yes, I may not uh, do this. <laughs> I may not put this bracket on here because um, because I'm looking at this screw and it looks like it's just going to go straight through the car if I drill a hole in it. I thought it was like hollow. It's like I thought there would be like somewhere like in between this section here, but it comes out like right here. So if I drilled, if I drilled it, it would go through the car, and then there would be a something sticking out. Yeah, and it's gonna hit the door when I close it too. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Let's see, I guess. Upon further inspection, it is there's like two pieces to it, and it's a very light piece of a metal. Um, <laughs> What I might do is I might just cut the, the screw in half after I drill it. Just so it has something to grab onto, you know. Or uh, or what I can do is I can try to flare this out somehow. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I guess uh, they built the chassis different <laughs> between an 89 and a 91. Because <laughs> uh, now the 91 is supposed to have an auto belt. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and drill it a little bit. went all the way through it just went through the first layer all right so what I've gone ahead and done is uh, I've screwed it in it went in and it, like I said it, it touches the other part of the body my good thing I didn't have to drill all the way through so I know some ugly ass screw looking there so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind down the 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 tapping part the I'm gonna grind it down to maybe like right here with, my, with the bench grinder Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, shortened the screw a bit. Hopefully I, did, uh, hopefully I did it pretty straight. But, uh, it should work. Let's see. Alright, cool deal. It worked. It worked perfectly, beautifully. And it makes this little piece of sheet metal here stronger now. That has this bracket on there. Um, it's, it's like, a, there's like two or three millimeters still left in there. But uh, there's about two or three millimeters from where the screw rests to where uh, to where it'll touch the other side of the metal. So it's not definitely not touching anymore. I didn't have to grind that much. I grinded too much, but uh, I guess there's no such thing as too much. Like it's holding it in. So there you go. I'm happy with the results. So uh, now let's uh, put it back together. All right, we're getting there. Um, so I don't know. It's kind of weird. There's this plastic piece here. I have no idea where this goes. No idea. Does it go here? Oh yeah, maybe let's go here. It's like a guide or something. Oh yeah. I think it does go there because this little uh, this little tab goes into that little galley that, that valley there. No, 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 no. It's a good question. No, it doesn't. It doesn't line up with anything. Line it up here. Nope, nope. No, I don't know what this is for. I don't remember. I don't remember taking this off of the junkyard, and this one doesn't have it. So, I mean, I guess I could cut it. This one doesn't have it at all. It's not there anymore. So they might have they might have taken that off. I'm not sure. 
I'm just going ahead and tightening this bolt here. Looks like it's getting there. Okay, so I've kind of noticed this one is a this belt is a little different. It has this little black thing sewn into it. Well, this one doesn't have anything like that sewn into it. But I mean, hey, whatever, looks fine. I should have made sure that the the buckle buckles. I think it should be fine though. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, bring the last bolt in there. As you can see. Amazing how they get all this crap to fit in here. It's, everything is so tight. So, oops, I messed up. This little wire is supposed to be behind the seat belt. So I have to go undo it now. <laughs> okay. Alright, finally. Alright, so, uh, so I got it in there. And, uh, I'm gonna go put this thing back. I'm just gonna leave this plastic thing off. I don't really know where it goes on this car. So, yeah, it just goes on there like that. I would think maybe it goes here, maybe. But, I don't know, this is gonna rub on here, but, um, I don't think it's gonna damage the belt or anything. All right, let's just gonna put the plastic. Dry. All right, there it is. Got it all buttoned up. Now here's the moment of truth. <laughs> Does it actually work? There we go. It works. Yes, I have. I'm confident that this will, in in a crash, that this will protect me. <laughs> There we go. The retractor is a little weak, but I think that's okay. Uh, all right, there it is. So once again, this is the reason I changed it. Look at this frayingness here. That's a no-go. All right, he's gonna make it out. <laughs>